Hey, what's up guys? Hope you're well today. Um, so here's the scenario. You have a great scene. You've animated it. You uh, set it up to render overnight. You come back in the morning. It took, you know, eight hours to render, but it's done. You check your email and you have an email from the art director saying, it looks great except for this text. Uh, we want it to be red. Um, well, you just realized that you forgot to put an object buffer on this text. So you're going to have to figure out some kind of a solution. So in the past, um, when I was just starting out, I used to make a texture and I would go into the luminance and I would make it uh, bright white and then I would put that on the text and then I would need to make everything else black so that I have a, an object buffer basically, a matte. So uh, I go to um, make one completely black and then I would take that and put it on everything else in the scene. Well, this only works to an extent because if we hit render, you'll notice that there's still some things in your scene that are different colors. So this red is not really working out. So you could maybe go and highlight all of your textures and delete them. But if we hit render, you can see the cube is still not quite right and some, some of the lights are casting red. So you might go into your object and try to figure out what uh, needs a texture inside the hierarchy. It just can get kind of ugly. So um, instead of doing that, we're gonna show you a really quick tip to get around it in just a few clicks. So what you're gonna do is go to the object that you wanna have a mat on it and right click on it and go to Cinema 4D Tags and to Compositing. And right here we have this matte object checkbox. So if we check that on, we have a color. We can change that to pure white. And now we need to uh, copy that to the other stuff in our scene and basically invert that. So we'll hit uh, control and drag it onto the other one to make a duplicate. We're gonna go to that one and make it black. And we'll hit control and just drag it to get it onto all of our objects in the scene. And now we'll hit render. And just like that, with a few clicks, we have a mat or an object buffer set up for something in our scene, super quick, and uh, that should save you a lot of time and headaches. And once you're done, it's non-destructive, so just take your uh, compositing tags, delete them, and your scene is back to normal with all of your materials the way that they're supposed to be. So really quick little hack for you guys. I hope that helps out. Thanks for checking out the Pixlab. We'll talk to you next time.